Tragedy strikes in East Oakland community. A 10-year-old girl stabbed to death today. And tonight, city officials say the suspect is her mother. Yes, a neighborhood, as a family, need to come together. I'm shocked. Yeah. Heartbreak and shock among neighbors tonight after another senseless killing in Oakland. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck. City leaders say the 10-year-old's mother stabbed the girl before trying to hurt herself. Police say the stabbing happened inside an apartment right there at the corner of 45th and Bancroft just before noontime today. KTV's Alyssa Harrington joins us live tonight from Oakland with the latest on the story. Alyssa. Well, Mike, Julie, neighbors gathered near the scene and told me they were sad and shocked and never imagined the mother could do something so terrible. My heart goes out to the family uh, and a 10 year old. Uh, a shocking crime in East Oakland, a 10 year old girl stabbed to death inside an apartment. According to city officials and neighbors, the suspect was her own mother. It's something that I can't believe, really, that this can happen. I don't know how I can I die, do that to her own, own kid, their own, own, own blood, you know. Oakland police were called to the apartment on the corner of Bancroft and 46th Avenue just before noon Monday. When officers arrived, they found a bloody knife in the street. Officers forced entry into the residence. Once inside, officers located an unresponsive 10-year-old suffering from severe injuries to her neck. Officers also located the suspect who is harming themselves with a knife. Oakland Interim Police Chief Darren Allison called this a senseless and horrific act of violence. He said responding officers tried to render aid, but the girl was pronounced dead at the scene. As a parent, I know that there's nothing more that tears at the heart than the loss of a child. Oh, honestly, we'll feel very bad because we know her. Pretty Monson lives in the unit directly below where the stabbing occurred. He said just the mother and daughter lived there, and he would often see them walking their dogs, walking to school, and just a few weeks ago had a party for the 10-year-old. But late Sunday night, Monson heard shouting coming through the walls. Yeah, only, only I hear her screaming in the night between like 10, 10 and 11 in the night. We know her for a more than 10 years, and all the time we see normally everything normally. The crime here in Oakland's got to stop. Noel Gallo, member of the Oakland City Council who represents the Fruitvale District, comforted family members when they arrived at the scene. Gallo said the neighborhood needs to come together to heal. It is insanity. And now seeing the father here and some of the relatives here, uh, it is just really painful and um, I just can't believe that's going on here. 